The trumpeting of the demoiselle cranes signals the onset of winter and the annual arrival of winter visitors from Eurasia. They arrive in thousands. Some migrate over the Himalayas, crossing mountain ranges at an altitude of up to 30,000 feet. India is one of the most popular winter homes for migratory birds. Thousands of international bird watchers too arrive to watch the annual migration. Over 350 migratory species have been recorded across the country. All possible due to the contribution of one man who brought the world of birds into our homes. Dr. Salim Ali. In India, there are thousands of places where migratory birds come, halt, roost, and then fly back. India is proud of its rich biodiversity. With just 2.5% of the world's landmass and only 4% of fresh rainwater resources and 18% human population of the world and 18% cattle population of the world. Still, we have maintained more than 700 national parks, sanctuaries, and we have made real impact in world's biodiversity because we have 8% of it. We always think nature as part of our life. It's a coexistence of human and nature. Salim Ali was a great researcher and a scholar. His 124th birth anniversary will be celebrated on 12th November. We celebrate this as a World Bird Day. That's my wishes. Thank you and all the best. Dr. Salim Ali was born in 1896. One of nine siblings, he lost his mother when he was barely a year old. He was three when his father passed away and was brought up by his uncle. Seeing his keen interest in birds, his uncle introduced him to his friend at the Bombay Natural History Society, BNHS. Ali was barely 12 years old and he started helping out at BNHS after school hours. He wrote his first book in 1941, The Handbook of Indian Birds, followed by 13 others in several languages. The books are popular all over the world and in great demand even today. As guides and reference books, His interest grew into passionate pursuit. On every visit of mine to Flamingo City, I have found a few lessers scattered amongst the hordes of their larger relatives. Now here at last, hundreds of lesser flamingos with their nests and chicks. A wonderful sight the first authentic record of their breeding in the Indian subcontinent. He visited the London Museum, Germany and many other places in Europe. Birding groups have sprung up everywhere in the country. Groups of birders and enthusiasts visit local wetlands and forests on weekends.
people expect a sanctuary to be like a glorified zoo. They don't realize that a sanctuary is merely a conserved natural habitat where birds will come if assured of adequate food, protection and nesting facilities. And the legend lives on. Dr. Salim Ali. Birdman of India.